Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Um, for today's video, not the one I was planning to release uh, this week, but you know, sometimes you have technical difficulties and, and, yeah, and you gotta come up with something else. Uh, so this is one I was actually saving for next month. Uh, recently just did a uh, trip to Los Angeles, California and did a, a handful of videos there. And I was gonna share some of those in the coming weeks, but uh, this one is a little early. So you can check that out right away. But before we get to that, I just wanted to, uh, because the original video had this in there and I just wanted to make sure I got the message out. We're really close to episode 100, uh, our two year anniversary show. Uh, and I just wanted to uh, thank those of you who have sent in video um, greetings for the show. Uh, we'll be including those. And uh, if anyone else wants to do that, I just wanted to give you another opportunity. We'll flash the date along the bottom here uh, when I need that by. So if you want to send along a video greeting or if you have questions about, you know, how the show operates, what uh, <laughs> what goes on behind the scenes. There's not really a behind the scenes, but uh, <laughs> any burning questions about One Flight Down, this is your chance to ask. Uh, so send those along. Uh, the email uh, right here on the screen. And also, of course, you can just uh, visit uh, my page and uh, scroll along. You can find the email address in there and uh, contact me that way. Anyways, for now, enjoy this episode. Cheers, friends. Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. I'm not in my basement. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not in a basement at all. I'm six floors above the ground. I'm not even in my city. I am at, uh, I'm at my hotel in Los Angeles, California. We're on a little vacation here today. And uh, we had plans. We were going to go, we had tickets. We had tickets to go see the Groundlings Improv Show. Canceled. Flash flooding. It's nuts. The, the cab drive was crazy. Uh, yeah, those are raindrops in the window. Also, out the window, that's the uh, Capitol Records building with a uh, Christmas tree on top. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's been a great trip. Um, there was a beer when we got here, and I'll probably include that in this video somewhere. It'll be some amazing editing. Uh, first beer we had when we got here was at a deli, and it was called uh, Mango Cart. It was a mango... IPA, I think it was, or a mango wheat beer. I'm in beautiful Beverly Hills, California. Uh, I'm going to be trying the Golden Road Brewing Mango Cart Mango Wheat Ale. This is, uh, it's from Los Angeles. So my first beer in Los Angeles is a local beer. I'm just going to open that up. Let's see how the pour looks. Nice and light looking. All right, that's a nice, kind of cloudy, but uh, light colored beer. Uh, oh yeah, I think I get the mango. It smells a little sweet. Cheers, my friends. That's a really fruity beer. Um, pretty darn good. Uh, cheers, my friends. Mango wheat beer. Catherine says it's a mango wheat beer. I trust her because she loved that beer. Uh, and it is a really good beer. Um, and we found out tonight that they also have something called Melon Cart. And just a bit of background, we had a melon beer once. Uh, Trans Canada Brewing in Winnipeg, Manitoba had a, a beer called, um, well, it was just a melon sour. It was part of their country sour series. And it was the best, probably the first sour I ever liked and the one of the best sours I've ever had. Fantastic beer. They never made it again. So this is a melon beer, and we just we got it. We had it delivered to our hotel because we're not going anywhere. It's miserable out there. It's sopping wet. It's awful. So we used the Drizzly app and uh, had beer delivered to our hotel. It is the most amazing thing in the world. Uh, I love modern technology sometimes. Okay, so this beer, Golden Road Brewing Melon Cart. Uh, it's a watermelon wheat ale with notes of honeydew and cantaloupe. All right, so 
I hadn't read that. <laughs> uh, my experience with watermelon beer is not a huge fan, but that one that we had, the melon sour, was a honeydew, uh, I believe, and that was really good. So the notes of honeydew uh, make me excited. I also had the best piece of cantaloupe I ever had in my life today in this hotel. So I feel like, you know, that's just the planets aligning, telling me that I got to have this beer. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, it is 4% alcohol. Uh, it doesn't say anything about IBUs, anything like that. Um, let's crack it open. Uh, I'm going to pour this into the glass that I got from the bathroom. Uh, let's pour it out, see how it looks. So I was expecting more like a pinkish hue with the uh, watermelon being the main part of it. But not really getting that. It's kind of a, kind of a yellowy beer, a little bit of a haze to it. Um, so it's like on the nose, nice frothy head on there too, by the way, on the nose. Whew. That's, it smells like, uh, like Jolly Ranchers. Uh, yeah, it smells, it's very candy-like. Uh, all right, let's go in for a sip. It's really good. It's, um, I, I don't know if it's like as good as that melon beer we had before, but way better than any other watermelon beer I ever had. And it is very, I get the watermelon though, for sure. And, but it's like, yeah, there's a very candy-like quality to it. It's not, uh, yeah, it's one of those beers. It's not, it's not really like drinking a beer. It's not a beer that drinks like a beer. It's just kind of like a, a nice summery kind of a drink on a dreary January day in Los Angeles. It's a pretty decent beer. Yeah, I would have this again. I'm glad we ordered a six pack. Uh, cheers, my friends. Uh, we'll see you all again soon.